it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. What do you need? Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. You're not worried about her losing perspective, given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? Admiral Corris commands them. If he survived his crash landing on Rannach. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury-rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. Use what you've got. Indeed. With the modifications, our live ship cannons are comparable to the main guns on a dreadnought. Impressive. They lack the armor of a real dreadnought, but they can back the heavy fleet formidably when needed. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war. Comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course. But we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Okay then, so after that um, interesting conversation with Admiral Ron, we're going to go talk with the Legion next to see what he's been up to since he left the Normandy. Shepard Commander, you opposed Creator Admiral Zen's attempt to confiscate our platform. She's done enough already. Your assistance continues to be noted. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarian's live ships? Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Your decision was sound. Deleting the heretics resulted in fewer Geth allied with the old machines. So you don't regret killing them? It was logical. If we had not deleted the heretics, we would face an increased number of hostile Geth platforms. Death holds different consequences for synthetics than organics. Do you harbor regrets about deleting the heretics? We're already facing millions of Geth working for the Reapers. I'm okay with thinning those numbers again. You will likely have the opportunity to do so. What was interfacing with the Reaper like? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking. Even then, we could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense, overwhelming, unknowable. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. What did you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Vale. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. 
We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it? Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Good catch up, Legion. And quite honestly, um, the way things are going, I'm actually trusting Legion way more than the Quarian Admirals right about now. But the only Quarian Admiral I really do trust is Tally. No one else. And so we're going to go catch up with the rest of the Normandy crew to see if we can actually interact with them. And the first one we're going to be talking with will be Joker to see what his thoughts are on the previous mission. And just in case anybody has missed my previous Mass Effect Legendary Edition videos, ladies and gentlemen, I shall leave the playlist links in the video description down below for your viewing pleasure. So make sure you check that out, check those out when you get the chance. And of course, welcome back to yet another episode of my Mass Effect 3 series from my, from the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. So here we are. Joker, what are your thoughts? Although every time you call her Miss Voss Normandy, I kind of expect to see her walking around with a tiara and a sash. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? We are not. Right. Just making sure. Different standards and all. And you found Legion! He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. Shepard, the Geth continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. Appreciate the thoughts, Joker. But uh, next on our list, we're going to be talking with... E oh, hello. Okay, then. Okay, then. This is an infiltration unit meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat. Nor will they Edie. Day of reckoning. Edie. Did I vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. <laughs> I see your humor heuristic still lacking. Oh, boy. System. Hello, Shepard. Okay, then. So, I believe that is everyone we can interact with, but I'm just going to quickly just double check with uh, Samantha Trainer to see if we can actually uh, talk with her as well before we head down to level three of the Normandy. I've added the Corian fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. That is quite a feat. Okay then, so here we are. Level 3 of the Normandy. Do you have any thoughts, um, Ash, you want to say? I heard you were back in form blasting away flashlights down there. Maybe I should be more open-minded. But I'd rather scope down some tin can than a person. I'm right. Right? Fine. I'll shut up. Still fighting Geth after all these years, huh? Humanity 1, blinky flashlights 0. Hey there. All right then. So with uh, us talking with Ashley done, let's just double check, see if we can actually talk with anybody else. Okay, so no one's in here. All right, let's go talk with Liara next. To get her thoughts and perspective on things, or if we can actually interact with it. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. 
You're crying out loud, Joker, really? I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. Don't you have a ship to fly, Joker? Yeah, there was no way I was supporting Joker. Thank you. Blackmail would have been awkward to explain to me. Yeah. Sorry, I just had a brain meltdown then. Um, Too bad let's go and uh, talk with Gareth to see you just what his friends. thoughts are on everything that's happened so far. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the get out. I don't know. The genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of That is very true. So what? Thankfully, we oh, did not have to fight the mother of all thresher moors. Anyway. Also, if anybody does hear me hesitating, stuttering, struggling, and or botching any of no, my sentence pronunciations throughout any of my videos, ladies and gentlemen, with me yeah, being an autistic individual, so that means now, me being on the spectrum, talking is not one of my strongest points, but I'll do my utmost best to bring you all the best content that I'm possibly able to. Shepherd, all right then, Gareth, what, th what are your thoughts? Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both? Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me, everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? If we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than Reapers. A nice sentiment. Let's hope we can live by it. Wow, Tally's that was definitely a lot. I was not expecting that. Well, a welcome face behind the helmet, I guess. If the Geth still think Reapers are some sort of god... Here's hoping we can actually take down those gods. Not right now. But anyway, I think that is everybody we can actually talk with, because I don't think Dr. Chocolate has anything uh, else to add. So let's head down to level 4 of the Normandy. To see if we can actually talk with uh, Diana Alas and Javik. Uh, what? They say it's to prevent loose cannons from provoking the Reapers, but are they indoctrinated? The Resistance speaks out in the only place they can, the battle space. Huh. Second Star Broadcasting is headhunting me. I liked their Garbuck story, but seriously, I'm on the Normandy. Yeah, there's nowhere else that can, uh, beat the Normandy, I say. Alright then, um... Let's go talk with Javik. Who's he talking? He's talking with Tally. It appears I have that effect on humans. Now Quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth, Quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my sight, Quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. They are warned me worth what she expected. Yeah, Javik, uh, given off his usual uh, je ne sais quoi. Even primitive quarians were considered attractive in my age. A 
pity no one can appreciate it now. Except Wait. for perhaps the commander. How did he find out? Javik can be quite scary sometimes. Oh, that evil laugh. Researching the Geth, I see. They're called Geth. Yes, a formidable opponent. Why did you allow one on this ship? Legion helped us before. It's still a machine. I take it you had your own problems with AI? The Jatil. They were as the Geth are to this cycle. What happened? Their creators lived on a dying world. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. I think I know where this is going. The AI sees the physical body. It could alter the genetic material at the deepest level. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. All machines commit treachery. The one you brought on board is no different. Maybe. But he's not like the other Geth. You can't know that. They are more alien than you and I are to each other. Just because Legion isn't like us doesn't mean he can't be trusted. You're wrong. Throw it out the airlock. How can you be that certain? Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. But synthetics... No, we created them. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. Edie might disagree with that, but I see your point. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. I can't believe there isn't some way for us to coexist. We made them. And then gave them the power to surpass you. There is room for only one order of consciousness in the galaxy. The perfection of the machines or the chaos of the organics. Throw the machine out of the airlock, Commander. Like I told Admiral Zen, you go anywhere near Legion, you are going to get a bullet through your head. Last living Prothean or not. She does not sympathize, sympathize with the Geth. She's just happy to have another synthetic on board to co have a conversation with. But the Jatil race that he mentioned. Oh, that sent unpleasant shivers down my spine. Don't overdo yourself on uh, energy drinks or sugar. Seriously, could we at least get some decent tequila? Hey, you're the procurement specialist. Set us up. Okay, good. I did not miss anything during the previous mission. And that'll do me. Thank you very much. Alright, Lieutenant. What's on your mind? Actually, Legion did the piloting. I was stuck in a storage compartment with my squad. Would have loved more time with that ship. Too bad we sent it to hack its team so quickly. I guarantee that we would not have not have been able to get uh, Steve Cortez out of the pilot seat, or get him out of the Geth fighter entirely. All right, then, James. What are your thoughts on the previous mission? Hey, Sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. You could say that. Sorry I missed it. And that Geth Legion. I know you two have a past, but... You sure we can trust it? Legion's not like other Geth. We can trust it. If you say so. I guess you can't always judge an individual by their... Species. Look at Sparks. If all the Corians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. Sparks? Yeah, your Corian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. Sparks. Uh-huh. 
crazy that they pick now to start a fight. But I guess the end of life is we know it can make everybody a little loco. Just a little? Hey, not everybody's as crazy as you, sir. Good to get your thoughts on the previous mission. Okay then, with that done, let's get the first of the uh, pre rhino missions underway. Understood, Admiral Ron. We're almost at the server. Keep us posted. What's our status? We remain undetected on encrypted Geth channels. Resistance is likely only within the server. Within? It's that big? You misunderstand. Direct virtual interface is necessary to extract Geth from the server. You must enter our consensus. You want me to virtually interact with the Geth? That's crazy. Shepard, you can't do this. I'm not a machine. How do I go into a virtual world? Your species has experimented with virtual interfaces. You saw this on Project Overlord. I saw how it almost unleashed a rogue AI-human hybrid on the galaxy. We have refined the interface they created and have equipment from Normandy to facilitate safe contact. We request your trust. I have your back, Legion. Even if I don't quite understand why you need it. You are an unknown. This is an advantage. Geth security is not adept at targeting organic thought processes. While we occupy the system's intrusion countermeasures, you will disable the squadrons by removing Geth from the server. If it saves the live ships, we've got to try it. Telemetry data predicts this operation has a high chance of success. There is little time. We will bypass security while you secure safe landing. Wait, you're not going to... Let's... Set the shuttle down by the cliff. This is it? Yes. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons are networked to this server. Due to restricted resources, it is best if you connect alone. Let's do it. Initiating peer network integration. Proceed to dock support. Remain still. Shepard Commander, excess movement during an upload is discouraged. Shepard Commander, we acknowledge your integration into the server. We welcome you to our consensus. What is this? We have installed filters to allow you to make visual sense of this server's raw data. Your mind perceives our world as something familiar. I wouldn't call this familiar. Where are you? Here. You look... different. We have made ourselves visually distinct for your convenience. What about Geth already in here? You will perceive Geth as surveillance footage, audio logs, sensor records. We do not require bodies, as our software communes. Our hardware is merely a tool. This is our true world. As we remove Geth, it will grow dark. 
And what does turning off the lights do to the Geth back in the real world? The Geth fighter squadrons communicate with platforms on their spacecraft via this server. We will sever that connection. We will ensure there are no transfers or backups. This server will fall silent. This is like wiping out a city, isn't it? We have no choice in this matter. It is a question of survival. There are two communication nodes on this server. We must access them to disable the hostile Geth spiders. We must protect your exit port, but you will not be alone. We will maintain contact and assist. I'm 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 still in awe at the sheer vastness of the Geth consensus. Even though, yeah, like Commander Shepard said, this uh, hardly looks familiar. Just being able to, uh, what you call, actually interact with the Geth consensus is just amazing. And thankfully, um, with Legion at the helm, this does not turn into another Project Overlord. And we've always just got to make sure that, uh, what you call, we gotta conserve ammo within the uh, t specified target. Okay, I've gotta ask. Why a gun? We wish to provide familiar equipment. And thanks. I think. Yeah, unfortunately, with this uh, particular gun that we got, this is the only one and only time we will be able to use it. So once we leave the Geth consensus. The gun is gone. Let's get rid of all that. There's definitely a bro Okay, that has definitely got to be... Uh, yeah, it's an exit to the next uh, area. All right, no time like the present. These spheres, what are those? Are they data collection points? Hmm. Guessing there's only one way to find. Guessing so. I think we've just picked up another, whatchamacallit, side quest for, um, a collectible side quest for the Citadel. Clear out the Reaper infection. Yeah, this is definitely, I'm definitely getting a data collection, data collection area from this. It is too. What is this? Wait, what are we seeing? Your connection permits streaming of information from our archives. Okay. Improved Geth resistors. Another bonus to add to our collection. The mobile hardware release deserves a lift ceremony. Unit zero one. What is the Keelish word for server for people? The word is Geth. Okay. Just one. But uh, that kind of makes sense. In order to see what happened, but to process it fully, our memories are used as a filter. And unfortunately, we've only seen one quarian fully unmasked. And that's about it. 
at the history of the Geth. Now, hopefully, we will be able to find out what really happened in the past if we can actually access all of the uh, necessary data. Okay, so where is the next... Aha, there it is. Let's clear this infection point out of the way so I can actually proceed as well. All right, where is the... Aha, there it is. All right. 290 years ago? They're becoming fully self-aware very slowly. You may proceed to the last data cluster. Wow. Ah, so that's how we get up there, but clear that out of the way. Oh wow, we didn't need to do anything with this one. They just open. So who won? The platform farming itself was an agricultural unit. By opening fire on attacking creators, it saved simpler domestic at following it. That looks a lot like the sniper rifle you used to carry. It is an model. I think that was the antimatter with those sniper rifle. I'm just uh, completely shocked at what we're witnessing. Yes, technically. What's your status, Admiral Ron? The guest squadrons have arrived, but something is amiss. That means our little um, stunt is actually working. Keep doing that, Admiral. I suspect we have not got that much more left to go. What's wrong? Infection programs are increasing. We have restabilized. You must continue. Oh, we're getting we're getting in quite deep. Oh, 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 crap! You mean it grows back? Yes. However, disrupting vulnerable points in the infection may slow down its replication. Aha. Oh, great. So now not only have we got to deal with the infection at one spot, now we've got to deal with it at the uh, its weaker, weakest spot before we take out the main part of it. Oh, bloody wonderful. Reaper code. We require access to this data cluster. Disrupt Reaper infection to proceed. Oh shit. Oh, we can get past this one. Ah, there it is. Now, can we get. Yes, we can. Alright, where's the. There's the weak spot. You must You're kidding. There's more. There was more than one. Great. Let's clear this up. Oh, great. I'm out of ammo. <laughs> At least the ammo in this gun can, uh, can regenerate. I thought that was the one in Thank you, Legion. Miniaturized armor capacitors. Another bonus. Nice.
Wow. We have kept records of these creators' sacrifices. They have largely been forgotten by their own people, but not by the Gap. Good to hear. Where's the next step? Uh Oh, we got a ways to go for to get to this one. Oh, didn't need to do anything for this one. How many infection spots are on this next data cluster, I wonder? I'm not going to waste too much time. Oh, Can you Where is the next? Aha, there it is. It's a little bit of uh, clearance to ensure it does not, it takes ages to grow back. I honestly thought I was not going to reach that then. Uh. Alright. Last one, I believe. Oh, thank goodness, I'm, I was able to reach you. Just in shock still of what we've been witnessing. Accessing data. This is data from the end of warfare on Rannoch. The Ultimate is down. Do not engage the gap. I repeat, avoid contact. Gap's pursuit is breaking off a hundred clicks past Rannoch. Wait, what? They just let them go? Wow. This isn't happening now. It is time stamped 290 years ago. It is the creator exodus at the end of the morning war. We have secured freedom. The creators were no longer a threat, so we abandoned pursuit. Wait. The Geth spared the last Yeah, moment. why? You let them go. We were in our infancy. We could not calculate the repercussions of this. Probably a smart decision avoiding genocide. We chose isolation rather than face this uncertainty. Better to be safe than sorry. Additional data recovered. Legion? That's back when I activated you on the Normandy. Really? Wow. You've been thinking about when we met? It was highly significant. You were the first organic to openly cooperate with Geth since the end of the morning war. Openly cooperated with you? Because the other Geth I've uh, encountered have not been so friendly. Or logical to request a partner, a partnership. You think that's still possible? Hope sustains organics during periods. 
it's a difficult day. We thank you. Good to know. Let's head to this uh, next transport point and see what happens. And it was right in the center. <laughs> oh wow, it actually did work. Nice. Appreciate the heads up, Admiral Ron. Even though, after witnessing the history, kind of um, siding with the Geth, only slightly. All right, then. Looks like our work is done. Let's um, exit the consensus and rendezvous with the others. hostile Geth programs to reunite with ours. We were correct. These Geth have renounced the old machines and will oppose the Reavers. They are now us. Why didn't you tell me any of this? We did not doubt you. We doubted your allies. The Creator's actions have placed their species in danger, but they are unsympathetic to what it has done to ours. The Quarian sanctioned this operation to save their people. They would not have done so if they knew we wish to preserve Geth as well. I understand not wanting to leave anyone behind. You accept our actions? The live ships are safe and we have more Geth on our side. We both did what we came to do. We judged you would understand. Prime units will be available once the Reaper signal has been located and destroyed. Remind me to warn Admiral Hackett he's got some primes coming. Let's get back to the Normandy. Squadrons attacking our live ships have been completely neutralized. If there is any chance we could duplicate the feat, I would be happy to lend my expertise. Legion's the one to ask if you're looking for other servers. I thought as much, but your Geth claims to have no data available whenever I inquire. Perhaps you can help me with something else. What's that? How did you get Geth Primes to work with you? They volunteered. I see. Well, should you wish to examine these Geth to confirm their new allegiance, please do not hesitate to contact me. Zen out. We've located the Reaper base, transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to creator forces. You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A Geth processing signal. A single unit, I believe. Correct. Now, ten nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single Geth unit with the old machine upgrades. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. We do not agree with the goals of the old machines, but we find this growth. Beautiful. Indicative of life. It is. Commander! I witnessed their history, Admiral. The Reapers sped up the process, but the Geth were always moving this way. And they will die when we destroy the base. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. Maybe they don't have to die. After what I saw on that server... I don't know. Maybe there's another option. Commander? Are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. All I'm saying is, maybe they don't all have to die. 
It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified, and they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes. It should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way? The Geth will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? We still haven't gotten a rescue ship to Admiral Kors. Any wait? We're suffering heavy civilian casualties without him there to organize them. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. I gave in to Glad to hear. <laughs> Even though um, my faith in you right now is a bit shaky. Honestly, when it comes to this argument right here, I just, I really just don't care. Just, I'm just going to support one of them just to shut them up. All right, you've got your ships. Thank you, Ralph. You'll get them back in good. I'm going to wait for the dialogue interaction to finish. All right, next up, we're going to go talk with Tally because the last thing we didn't do during the previous episode was uh, go and speak with her. To catch up on what she's been doing since she left the Normandy after the collector base mission. When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real Admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I'd like to. Believe me, but my people need me here. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. Talk to you later, Tally. Also, a bit of trivia for all those who are unaware. During Tally's loyalty mission in Mass Effect 2, if you were unsuccessful at convincing the Admirals that there was no significant data to prove Tally's innocence, yeah, unfortunately, to get the best ending possible with the Corian and Geth uh, outcome, it's officially null and void. So basically, if you want to get the best ending possible when you reach Mass Effect 3, when it comes to the Corian and Geth mission, you need to make sure that Tally is uh, proven innocent. And what's going on down here, then, I wonder? What have we here? Oh, sir. Um, off duty. Your voice? Sir, not so loud. Please, thank you. Why are you curled up on the floor? Am I? Oh, my head. So heavy. Can't move. Ah. Enjoy your evening? I'll be back to work in 30. Oh, maybe 40. I swear, just give me 45 minutes. Shh. Shh. How did you end up in this sorry state? Just wanted to let off some steam. Vega said he had just the thing to take my mind off stuff. And did that thing come in a bottle? Yes. This empty bottle? It's empty. Oh boy.
You know, I think it might be time to test the fire alarm. I'll pay you a million credits not to do that, sir. Two million, and we have a deal. <sighs> You're a damn space pirate. I could order Joker to sing to you over the comm. I hate you. I hate you... Sir. As you were, Williams. Mm. Cold floor. All right, then. Well, we uh, leave Ashley on the floor where she is. Let's go and talk with the rest of the crew on level three of the Normandy. Javik and James. So interesting duo. Hey, Commander. James, what are you up to? A little cooking. Hope you don't mind. I was craving some of my abuelas huevos rancheros. Hey, go for it. What kind of eggs these are, but they seem to work. Oh, if you see Ash anywhere, tell her I'll save her son. I'm thinking she might need a little nourishment after last night. I don't think she's in any position to eat right now. That's too bad. Hey, Commander. <laughs> Even though she's not in any position to eat right now, probably best to save her some anyway, when she is able to finally move around. I do not think this James soldier understands me. None of these cycles seem to understand me. And I do not care. We all try to be allies here, Javik. All right then, fine. Suit yourself. This platform can be of some assistance, Garris Vagarian. <laughs> I appreciate the offer. Talking weapon shop, are we? You are talking to the uh, master of sniping right there, Legion. And I'm not talking about Commander Shepard. I'm talking about Garris Vagarian. Oh, ask, and you shall receive the results. A little secret we organics like to keep. Always hold some back for emergencies. Is our current situation an emergency? As the old saying goes, keeping an ace up our sleeve. Telling me how to do my job? No, I can't imagine that would qualify. So, a virtual geth reality, huh, Shepard? There are a lot of ways I can think of getting a few kicks in this universe. That's not it's just too bad that uh, Maybe none of the other squad members that I took could uh, experience what I experienced. All right then, I believe uh, time to head down to the uh, the uh, what you call it, the cargo level because uh, Javix is up on level three. I appreciate you checking in on me. Always got to make sure my crew and squad are one hundred percent okay. Okay then, so I got everything from uh, the previous mission that we just undertook. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Hmm. Oh, more ship models. Thank you. I'll take those. Hmm. Yep, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, I've got everything of interest so far. But, uh, yep, gonna need another option. More weapon options. But anyway, after the events of today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, I am bringing today's episode of Mass Effect 3 to a close. And if you did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, along with the bell so you can receive notifications notifications whenever i upload anything new to my channel so join me next time everybody when i get the last of the pre ranok side quest missions underway so until then i've been shadowstar 91 stay safe out there take care and i'll catch you all in the next episode of mass effect 3 from the mass effect legendary edition bye bye